Hello, this is Michael Oloide. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can record simultaneously using two separate sound cards. Uh, to do this, we're going to create what we call an aggregate device. And I'll be using a MacBook Pro to demonstrate this. I'll be using a Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 and the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4. The 18i20 comes with eight mic preamps, while the 4i4 comes with two mic preamps. And in total, we're going to have 10 mic preamps at our disposal. To do this, we're going to head straight to Utilities. And we're going to click Audio MIDI Setup. As you can see, my Scarlett 18i20 and the 4i4 are both connected to the computer using the Thunderbolt 3 ports on my MacBook. So the next thing we're going to do is you click the plus button on the lower left corner. You see we have the option of creating an aggregate device, creating a multiple output device or to connect AirPlay device. So for our purpose, we're going to click create aggregate device. As you can see, we have four options to select from. We have the 18i20, the 4i4, the MacBook Pro microphone, and also the MacBook Pro speaker. Since we're creating input devices, we're going to select the Scarlett 18i20 and the Scarlett 4i4. So if you intend to configure your speakers, you can click the Configure Speaker button. And uh, you can see I have Scarlett 18i20 selected. So this means I'm going to be taking output from the 18i20 to my studio monitors. So I'll click done. Then I'll click, I'll close this as well. So I'm going to head over to Logic Pro. And I'm going to switch to the mixer view. As you can see, I have some tracks created already and I have none of them assigned to any input. So I'm going to select track one, input. As you can see, I have just one input activated. And this is because I haven't assigned the device to Logic Pro. So I'm going to click comma and comma, then audio. Then as you can see, I have Scarlett 18i20, Scarlett 4i4. So I'm going to select the newly created aggregate device. And I'll click apply. So right now, as you can see, we have 26 inputs activated in theory. But in practice, we only have access to 1 and 8, and as well as 21 and 22. Uh, input 1 and 8 are the mic preamps on the 18i20, while inputs 21 and 22 are the mic preamps on the 4i4. So I'm going to assign tracks 1 to 8 to input 1 to 8. So I click option, click input 1. As you can see, input 1 to 8 are assigned. Then I'll do the same for the last two tracks. Option, click input 21. So you can see a spike on kick 2. Uh, this is the microphone I'm using to talk right now. So I'm going to activate all the tracks and I'll head over to the drums and do a test recording and we'll come back and see if everything is aligned. And so that's how you create an aggregate device using two sound cards via the USB port. Uh, I did this video using two Focusrite devices. Uh, I haven't tried it using two different uh, brands, but you can try it and let me know in the comment section if this works. And if you like this kind of content, uh, drum audio recording content, please like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I can share more of this kind of videos uh, in the future. So till next time, bye-bye.